Hello, in this tutorial I would like to give you a very basic instruction to the macros. The first thing I want to say about macros is avoid them, don't use them, they are not good. Alright, I just show you because there are earlier C or C++ program which uses macros as well, so you should uh, understand how is it work. Also we use the macros here, the include and uh, this one is one useful macro. The other uh, place where we use macros is the header file so we can uh, so we can avoid to be include twice. Alright, we use the defined to define a macro make something for example const constant and uh, make it oh first seven and if you have a value like int i equal constant that will be good I'll write it out because else we don't see anything alright Compile it. I just deleted the, the Sudoku. Alright, it's compiled. There are fun functions like macros I will show you. For example, min mm, and its weight two arguments x and y, and after it inside parentheses x is great, uh, greater than y then we return so if x is greater than y then we return with y else oh then we return else we return with uh, x I don't really use macros as well because it should be avoided. So that's why I am not so good at macros. int j equal min and give two number like six and seven. Alright, save it, compile it. Oh. I deleted that macro already. So compile it. Because it's J, not I. Alright. Now compile it. And run it. And as you can see, it's returned with the smaller uh, value. Actually, the C preprocessor do when it finds a macro, then it copies this entire thing like here and write here the 6, the 7, the 7 and the 6 like that. I, the C preprocessor actually do that. If we compile it and make a semicolon after it and compile it we should get the same result. And as you can see it's right out, so it is the ju it is the same result. Although I should avoid it the macro uh, because of this. It is called inline. We sh we have we could just make inline with uh, macros, so inline functions actually. And if there is more, so for example make a for loop and inside the for loop we made a macro or something it will grow the program because the macro will every time copy it there copy 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 and uh, it will it will uh, increase the size of the program the other thing that it is uh, actually not uh, listen to the scopes so it's not care about the scope and that is uh, that's a problem in C or C++ so actually avoid the macro 
if you wa want inline function then inline in function inline actually make it minimal and uh, get two parameter int x int y oh by the way the third thing is the lack of type checking it will not uh, check type as you can see we don't give types in here that's why it was used uh, to generic programming earlier although if you want to generic programming in C++ although if you want generic programming in C++ you really should use templates that's the best way not the void pointer not the macros return x is greater than y then we return with uh, y as uh, x like that and we really should use that so minimal uh, 6 7 for example uh, it is in line function as well and it will give the same result although it has type checking it l care about the scopes and it is just better to use the inline instead of macros okay although I didn't speak header files but sometimes you mm, but later we will use header files to separate the declaration and the, de the definition so the actual program code and just the declaration it makes our program nicer and easier to debug and uh, easier to read the program uh, then the one uh, useful f uh, for macros uh, one thing that is useful for macros is uh, to avoid the two declarations so define and then usually the name of the header file in capital uh, letters so first uh, first and the line and the extension like that so it will define the first age and there are there is another macro called if and def so if if not defined the first age macro we define the first age macro and uh, we write the program here like that and the end of the program we use uh, and if all right this will result that if first if we uh, include this header file first it will define the first age header file because the first age is not defined and the actual program so include the actual program but if we would like to include it second times that it is defined so this will not included a second time and it will not uh, give a redeclaration error so that is uh, another useful for for header files and uh, macros not header files header files later macros i want to say so you really should avoid the constant and the function declaration with macros and use instead of inline function and const as we did earlier okay i just wanted to show you that in the macros about macros because we don't really use it there are other uh, little useful macros like when you want to uh, examine what operating system there are there are usually defined macros like i don't know apple maybe actually really don't know that i never use that usually i try to make a platform specific program or a 
that or a program that can run any platform but uh, never try to examine that uh, is that a correct operating system or not uh, oh really I don't use macros uh, but in earlier C or C++ program there were macros as you can see we don't put semicolon after the macros as I said in the first tutorial we don't use semicolon after macros like include and define everything we start with hash mark is a macro okay and uh, that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and have a great day